Why is singing through the break so hard? And how can I make it sound better? Inside this video, I'll explain why it's hard and give you four tips to make it sound better. Hi, I'm Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing. Singing through the break is easy once you've learned how to do it. Watch these episodes to learn how to sing through the break. But once you've learned to sing through the break, also known as the bridge, middle, or the passaggio, why is it still especially hard at first? Why does it sound weaker or different from the rest of your voice? How can you make it sound better? Even though you've learned how to get through without breaking, often it sounds weaker, especially at first. It's because it's new, underdeveloped, and underused. The special balance between your vocal cords, airflow, and the resonance shifting is a new coordination. If you persist in just doing it in chest, it'll never get stronger. It takes a while to get used to this and to do it with maximum result. It's like learning to serve a tennis ball. You can hit it over the net, but can you keep it in bounds? Can you serve it to your opponent's backhand? Can you put topspin on the ball? Can you hit it with power and velocity? Can you do it every time? Why not? Because it takes time to balance, coordinate, develop strength, break old habits, improve your mental game, gain confidence, and many other things. It's no different with singing in the bridge or in any other new skill. You can sing in and through it, but that's just the beginning. It takes time to get good, and just when you start getting good, you start adding tension, and then it's not as good. You put it into a song, and it's even worse. It's a continual process of improvement, correction, practice, and more improvement. It takes time, work, practice, performing, patience, more work, patience, faith, some talent, persistence, desire, and most of all, you can't force it. Here's how to get better faster. First, find vocal release without tension. If you have tension or squeeze on the vocal cords even slightly, you'll hamper the vocal cords and airflow. It won't be optimal. Your vocal balance, strength, and power will suffer. Release any tension or compression as much as possible without going into falsetto. Ma, 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 Next, after release, but in the next instant, almost at the same moment, gently and gradually lean into that feeling of letting go. Instead of trying it in the bridge, E, F, F sharp above middle C for men and, and A above middle C, B flat, B, and high C for women, start above the highest bridge note and go up three to four half steps to encourage complete release. Then descend a half step at a time, perform the release, and lean down into the feeling of release on each note, a note at a time, down through the bridge notes. That's the high B. Mom, 
ma 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 That's the E. Do the above with medium volume without forcing it. It might take a dozen times or a dozen dozen times before you discover it. But it will come, usually when you aren't trying to make it happen. Ma 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 Nurture your new ability patiently. Don't push it too hard. That's when it disappears. A great first step is getting through the bridge successfully. To help you do this, learn your vocal type at PowerToSing.com. Take the vocal test and quiz and discover your vocal type. Go to the Knowledge Center in PowerToSing.com and watch the videos about your vocal type. Download the free exercises and start working on them today. They'll help you get through the bridge successfully, which is the vital first step. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share with a friend. I'm Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing. You can sing higher with beauty, confidence, and power. I'll see you inside the next video.